everyone. I hope you're all well. Sorry if this is a bit of a pants video tonight. Um, but I'm not feeling very well. I've got a migraine coming, which I think is just stress induced. Um, and I've not been anywhere <laughs> to get anything. And I've not done anything today except I have like rage cleaned my entire house. For those of you that are unaware, I live in Kent. So we are now a tier four area, which means essentially Christmas is cancelled. On top of that, just before I found out about that, I also found out that my head teacher's got coronavirus and therefore I am now self-isolating because I had a meeting with her in the week. So yeah, um, it's been a bit of a mentally difficult weekend. I'm not unwell. I've had a test done just to be on the safe side. They've asked everyone in the borough that I work in to have community testing just to rule it in and out. So yeah, just waiting for the results of that. But as I say, I'm now not allowed to go anywhere and finding things a little bit difficult but what I did do was order some games on Amazon I just wanted to share a couple of couple of them with you in case you didn't know that they do things like this um because obviously Matt and I are here now for the whole Christmas period we were going to be here Christmas day anyway but now there's no Christmas Eve there's no Boxing Day families here can't even um, meet on Christmas day so we just wanted a few bits so we're not just stuck watching the telly all the time so Cluedo is one of my favourite games from when I was a child. Absolutely love Cluedo. I also like to think I'm really good at it, um, but who knows? I, but I do like to think so. But this is a Harry Potter Cluedo, and you know how obsessed I am with Harry Potter Cluedo. So as I say, I did buy all of these from Amazon. You probably would have to buy these online now if you wanted any of these games, just because I don't think the shops... I mean, I don't know about elsewhere in the country, but definitely near to me these kinds of shops will be closed now um so yeah i picked up cluedo um harry potter cluedo and you travel with flu powder which i thought was quite cool so it does look like it's a little bit different to the regular cluedo game so looking forward to playing this and we did pick up harry potter trivial pursuit it was just um we didn't want general knowledge matt's not really a huge fan of quizzes anyway um so we thought we'd go for this one just to make it a little bit more fun now i have played this one before um, this was about £24, I think, but they did also have the Volume 2 questions. So I did pick up the Volume 2 questions as well, just so that we can kind of alternate between the questions if we wanted to, because I have played this one before, although a long time ago, um, so I can't imagine that I'd remember the questions. But then we've also got these ones that we can kind of swap between. So, yeah, pick those up. But then this was a cool find. Matt found these on Amazon. It's a Crystal Maze board game. Now, anyone that grew up or <laughs> watched TV in the 90s probably would know about the Crystal Maze. They did bring it back again more recently, didn't they? With um, Richard, I can't remember his surname. Um, but I absolutely loved the Crystal Maze. I always wanted to go on, on the show. But now they have a board game. So you, obviously you can read the information yourself there, but it's got four different zones. You've got the industrial zone, the futuristic zone, the medieval zone, and the Aztec zone, which are the zones from the TV show anyway. You download an app to get like the timer and the music and things. But then what I also found online is they had an Eastern zone mini game. So you can either play this as like a standalone mini game if you don't want to throw out. How much was this? How much did it cost you? Uh, Is it like £32 or something? I don't I can tell you. Um, but I know this wasn't cheap, but this was about £12. So if you didn't want to invest in like the entire game, you could buy this as a mini game. But we bought it to boost this game so you can combine them. So that's what we did. So I'm really, really looking forward to playing these. We were going to... Pardon? Sorry. Yeah, £32. So it definitely isn't a cheap one, but it comes with lots of different challenges. So we just are really looking forward to that one. And then I did have a little look. I have bought another game, but I can't show you because it's a present for Mr. Over There. Um, but then I did also look, because I was thinking about Cards Against Humanity, which is a very rude game, um, but quite fun. But we weren't quite sure how to play it with two of us. But if you aren't aware, they now make cards against various different films. So you've got cards against Disney, cards against Muggles, which is the Harry Potter version, although they didn't have that on Amazon, um, and then a few other ones on there. So that's worth looking at. So yeah, so if anyone has any recommendations of some really good board games or games in general that my, Matt and I could play over the Christmas period, then please comment below because I'd be interested to know what ones you recommend. Um... You know I love Harry Potter. I'm really looking forward to the Cluedo, but I'm definitely, I think, the Crystal Mace is one that I'm most looking forward to. So, yeah, so, so as I say, sorry it's not the most exciting video tonight, um, but I'm really not feeling very well. I'm already in my pyjamas. 
and we are about to tuck in and watch SWAT. So I'm going to get my blanket out. <laughs> One of Matt's favourite shows, to be fair. Um, I'm going to get in my blanket and turn the lights off and we are going to enjoy it, SWAT. So hope you're all well. Hope you're all doing okay with the news if you are in the Tier 4 area as well. Um, and to be fair, even if you're not, I know that the five days of Christmas has been cut down just to Christmas Day. So I hope everyone's doing okay, both physically and mentally with everything at the minute. Because it's, it's not been the best year, has it? So... Love to you all and I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.